folks, one and all, to Let's Play Space Quest 3 The Pirates of Pestion, third attempt at recording this video, because this video alone is proving to be a huge problem. So, we are going to head to the one place in Fleetput that you need to go. It's the only place in Fleetput that you need to go, admittedly, and there's no scorpion here. Excellent news. Excellent news. So, we're going to head north, and we're not going to die to any scorpions this time. Oh no! A venomous scorpion! It. Watch out! Well, actually, he won't chase us once we leave here. Look, you are startled by the sight of a giant beast just beyond the sand dune to the north. We must go and see this. We can save the day and become the hero of Xenon once again. There seems to be a sort of repetitiveness to what it's doing. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear? Yeah, you scum. <laughs> well, this is un... <laughs> Aha! A tourist trap! This giant metal facsimile of a space beast is nothing more than a cheap marketing ploy designed to suck in any moron dumb enough to fall for such trickery. You suddenly feel like a dumb moron. Yep, this is... Festa's World of Wonders! You peer through the glass on the display case and find a cute and cuddly little creature. A small sign on the glass informs you this is an Antarian slime devil. How cute! Let's go in! It's a tourist trap. Howdy, stranger. Name's Blatz. Fester Blatz. Welcome to the World of Wonders. Go ahead, take a look at some of the trendiest items in my own universe. Make the most of your vacation, buckazoid. The cast-off refuse of a dozen worlds clings to every available service at the store. You're astonished at the diversity. You're even more astonished that someone would buy this stuff. Look, postcard. There's one of them for Arrakis! Basically saying, hey! Get eaten by sandworms. Then there's this one that's definitely not foreshadowing. Big Black Hole Bertha. All travelers are advised to stay away from Bertha. Just buy the postcard and tell everyone you went there. And Ortega, which is also foreshadowing, saying, Dressed in heat-resistant underwear, the hearty traveller can find a lava lover's paradise in this starkly enjoyable planet. Look! Blats. Imagine, if you will, a sleazy tourist trap in the middle of the howling desert on Fleetput. I don't need to imagine it, I'm there. The proprietor looks like the unfortunate offspring of a union between a squid and a Vorlian gas beast. His keen business mind and utter lack of scruples affords him a comfortable living here on the backside of civilization. How about a nice or and a stick? The kids will love this. <coughs> We're talking hours of fun for the whole family. Just look how cute this little guy is. <coughs> and here's our hot red hot item, the official Astro Chicken Flight Hat. You'll literally turn some heads in this snort, sort, sporty little number. It's modeled right after the hot new arcade game that's sweeping the galaxy. Going on any high temp planets, this nice pair of thermal weave underwear will keep your internal environment pleasant on even the sweatiest worlds. We want all of these. You just take your time, you hear? Don't feel pressured to buy anything. Look, toy? Shells are arrayed with some fine examples of natural ones of the planet. Also, some useless junk that can only be found in a fine tourist establishment such as this one. We don't have any money, but we do have the. <coughs> Aurea. Ooh! Look at his face. My, my, that certainly is one fine hunger orium. I'll take it off your hands for 350 buckazoids. What do you say? No. I'll take it off your hands for 400 buckazoids. What do you say? No. I'll take it off your hands for 425 buckazoids. What do you say? Yes. You want the best deal he can give you, and that's the best one. Bye, stick. Bye, hat. Buy underwear. Buy postcard? You almost buy one, then realize you don't have any friends to send one to. Oh. Wear hat. You don the jaunty hat. You feel more sporty already. Let's leave. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, looks like the lightning's getting close. Better be careful out there. Look at our jaunty hat. Look at our... Oh, there goes our jaunty hat. And there's the Terminator. So, this is Roger Wilco, the man I have been sent across the universe to track down and terminate. I am not impressed. You were too easy to find. You tend to leave a mess wherever you go. 
Seems you forgot to pay for that Labby and Terra Beast mating call whistle. But that was free, postage and packaging. Oh. Now let's see. With interest that comes at 400,000 bacchusoids. I don't think you've got that kind of cash on you. Hmm. No, didn't think so. The good people at the Gippersoid Novelty Co. are most displeased. Non-payment is a serious offense. But lucky for you, I'm in a good mood today. I will count to ten, real slow, and then I will track you down. If you make it to your ship, I forget I see you. But if I catch you again, I dust you like a punt cake. Now, there's, there are two ways to defeat this. And I'm going to show you the way that gives you less points first. You can let me go. And then we run this way. Running back to the ship is actually a terrible idea. And you will see that next video, I imagine. We'll read this sign. See flea put from Mog's head. Entrance, entrance fee. Sorry. Temporarily closed for repair. Don't care. Going in anyway. There's an elevator. We're going to press the button. Now, eh. let us go up and see Fleetfoot from Mog's head. Look where I am now. You're inside the cavernous interior of Mog's belly. An elevator shaft leads down and stairs run between the first and second platforms. The heavy equipment necessary to automate Mog can be seen on the upper level. <laughs> the important part here is the fact that we need to get to that top level. The robot at this point is chasing us, and when we head up here, you will see the lift go down. That's because he's called it. <laughs> and we want to stand here, because he's coming. You can see him right there. I see you, Wilco. Yeah, well, you may see me. However, You'll never take me alive! Perhaps this idea wasn't great in hindsight. Oops, I died. Okay, he's coming. Right! We will fight, robot. Panic? Oh well, he's got us. And what happens when he gets us? This. a way to defeat him. You have to wait for him to get really close and then push pulley. Reaching up, you give the rope pulley a mighty shove. Boom! Take that, you robot monster! Well, we beat him. And we could get his invisibility belt, should we need it. However, we're not going to need it here, because we're going to get it in a way that provides more points. But first, we're up on a lift. We're up on an area, there's a high drop. Oh, no! Whoops! I got myself killed. Who didn't see that coming? I think everyone saw that coming. So when we come back, folks, we will defeat the Terminator in the way that provides more points. And then we will leave Fleetfoot, because that is the last thing we need to do on Fleetfoot. Until then, folks, until then, I'll catch you later. I'll see you then.